Hey guys, so since Tumblr changed some of their layout and design in 2015, it's a little bit more complicated to post, or rather embed, things from different websites, social media, whatever. If you're trying to embed something, which is really good to do and really handy and really helpful, makes your blog stand out, makes it more accessible and all that sort of stuff, then you want to learn how to embed other things into your Tumblr post. So I'm going to show you how to do that here. It is a little different. Here's the final product. Here's what we're going to do. And I'm actually going to use the theme of Humans of New York, except for the last two, to show you how to do it. So I'm going to go over to my Tumblr embed. There's what it looks like in the end, but ignore that for just a minute. Hit the text button. Put in there what you want to put in there. Give it a title. I'm going to call mine How to Embed. Okay, now for the purpose of the text, I would suggest type everything in or if you're pasting it from Word or from plain text or from somewhere else put everything in there you need to put in there first your text your photos your links do all that stuff first do the embeddable stuff absolutely last and I'll show you why in just a second but before I do I'm gonna get some code that I can just use there's some random code from Ipsum Lorem paste that here there it is now and it doesn't look like much it's kind of jobbly gobbly gook so just don't worry about that for right now don't worry so much about the text your text is important, however. So I'm now going to go up to this little gear shift. I'm going to switch from right here where it says text editor from rich text to HTML. And you'll note immediately we get this HTML box, preview button, and this, the little open P and the close P. Now, if you know anything about coding, and you don't need to know a lot about coding, but this is the one bit you do need to know. That open P and close P, and the reason why that's open up there at the top there's no slash in front of it and there is a close P because that's a slash in front of that P that is to open a paragraph and close a paragraph it's very basic HTML stuff nothing to really worry about now what you do want to do is you can either push that close P bracket down and continue to put your stuff there if you're ready to embed or simply enough and this really is very simple just do a new one there it is now it's ready for me to begin so I'm gonna start with humans of New York Facebook. Now I'm actually going to close this one and open another one because I want a little bit of spacing in between each one. You don't have to do it this way. You could just put the code right under that and close the P at the end of that code. But for the purposes of this, I just want it to look a little better, so I'm going to do it that way. Let's come over here. I'm going to actually close that. So here's the Humans of New York Facebook page. There it is. This is the post I want, and you can do this with pretty much any Facebook page, any Facebook post that is on a liked page you can embed. Let's click on that. Click on Embed. There you go. Now the last time I did it, I did 366, and it turned out to be too narrow. So I'm actually going to change it where it says width to 466. And again, you don't need to worry about this code up here. You're going to copy it, but you don't really need to go into the depths of it. I'm going to hit Enter on my keyboard, regenerate that. There you go. Copy that code. Again, just copy it. Don't worry about it paste it, close the P, lowercase p, doesn't need to be capitalized, come down here, now we're going to do Twitter, alright, now I'm ready for Twitter, same thing, go to their Twitter page, find the tweet you want, click on the three little dots there for more, embed tweet, there's the code, you don't need to change anything in this code because it defaults to the right size for Tumblr, so copy that, come back over here, paste it, close the P, Open the next one. Now we're going to do Instagram. Okay, open the P back up again. There it is. There's the one I want. I'm going to click on that one. Three little dots. Embed. Copy embed code. And let's do this. Okay. Copy it, come back over here, paste it, close the P, open the P. Now I'm going to actually stop with Humans of New York because I don't know of a YouTube page that they have. I'm going to show you YouTube now, and I'm also going to have to, from my regular news station, how to embed their code. So for the purposes of this, let's just go YouTube, close the P, open the P. This does take a little while, so you got to be patient with it. So over here, here's my YouTube channel. Under the share buttons, you can get embed. There 
it is. 453 is probably smaller than I need. I'm going to go 553 and hope for the best. Copy that. Come over here. Paste it. Close the P. Now I'm going to do a new station. WCSH6.com slash P. Okay, open the P. Now I'm going to come over here. WCSH6, there it is. Weather forecast, because everybody cares. Embed that code. You do that. Look for these little kind of things. There's the share buttons, email share, full screen, and then there's the embed code. Click on that. Embeds code to your clipboard. Hooray. Come over here. Paste it in. And then slash P. Close the bracket. And there you go. So that's that. You can add more text if you need to, but the important thing is to do the embeddable stuff last, because if you go back up here, and try to switch that HTML to rich text editor. It'll actually kind of undo some of that code and it won't work the way you want it to work and it'll kind of mess things up. So that's why I stress do the HTML stuff absolutely last. Okay. So I've given it a label, we put our code in, our text is good. Hit post. And it's going to look like this on the dashboard side. But if you come over to your Tumblr blog and you refresh, give it a second to load. It's going to take a minute to run all that code because it's pulling that code from other sources. It's pulling it from Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff. So it's going to take a second to load. It's going to be a little slower. So there's Humans of New York Facebook page. The smart thing would be if you could have made that a link first. That would have been really good. And then have the embeddable thing. But again, all of this stuff is clickable. So anyone can actually click on this and it will take them right to that Facebook page. Likewise with the Twitter one. Again, Twitter looks good, but it's all clickable, so that's good. But it would have been nice to just make that a link, too. And Instagram, same thing. Make that a link, but this looks good. All of this is clickable. There's the video from YouTube. It'll just play right there. There it is. Probably could have made that a little wider and been okay, but it is sort of right up against the line. So actually, see how some of the title is cut off? I probably made that a little wider than it needed to be. I'd have to play with that some. And then same with channel six. Theirs was a little bit wider as well. I'd have to go into that code and actually knock that down. Just find where the height and width code is, and you can actually switch that over. So that could actually just play with the width a little bit. But again, that's a little bit more detailed than the code. You don't have to go to that much trouble. If it works like that for you, fantastic. It does make the blog stand out more. And there you go.